Should you pay off your mortgage early or ever? Not if you have aspirations of retiring early. Let me show you how this winning secret game of the 1% is played and then maybe you'll change your mind. Ready? Let's go. EpicBreakthrough.com is the creative financing breakthrough real estate investors are looking for. Get started with a list of 21 creative financing terms and deal structure templates to invest in real estate using more of your mind and less of your money. Epic is changing the game. Start now for free at EpicBreakthrough.com. Hi, my name is Matt Terrio, CEO of Epic Real Estate, where we show people how to invest in real estate so they can escape the daily grind and retire early. And for most people, just by the very nature of mentioning early retirement, red flags go up all over the place as if this seems too good to be true. Like, people only believe something if it's too bad to be false. I never understood that. Anyway, an early retirement is very much in the cards for anyone that wants it. You just have to change the way you play the game. For most, the retirement game consists of a life having worked 40 plus years, eliminating debt, maxing out the 401k, and paying off a home as fast as possible. If you want to retire at the age of 62, if you're okay with that, and then dramatically lower your living standards when you get there so that you don't run out of money before you run out of life, that's a good strategy. It's a good strategy for people that are bad with money. And it's time-honored wisdom even. I mean, you hear it from Dave Ramsey, Susie Orman, and just about every other certified financial planner on the planet. People that listen to their advice are playing to not lose. And per the Department of Health and Human Services, 95% of the people playing that game, ironically, do lose. And further, playing this game steals your most precious asset your time, and ultimately, your life. But if you want to enjoy more of your life while you're young enough to do so, without concern of running out of money, there's a different strategy for that. It's playing to win. And it's playing this game where winners are created. I and mean, we know them as the 1%. Well, it's 74% of the 1% if you wanna get specific. And this game works like this. Rather than focusing on eliminating debt, get more of it. Rather than save your money in a 401k, stream your money in an asset. Rather than paying off your home, keep borrowing against it. Craziness, right? No, stay with me, you'll see. And don't get mad, it's just math. Here, this is something anyone can do. Start with your primary residence. If you've owned it more than 12 years, you've likely got some equity, a lot. And you can start this right now. But first, if you don't own a home, get one. An FHA loan only requires 3.5% down, and you'll get a nice 30-year fixed loan for the rest. You can make this happen in almost every state of the union with less than $25,000. I mean, here in Vegas where I live, we're talking $10,000 down, maybe even a little less. Now, you're not going to live in a mansion, but it doesn't matter. You won't be there long anyway. You see, using the debt on your house and never paying it off can certify you financially independent and make you wealthy. And I'm gonna walk you through it, but you've got to have a house first. So get one if you don't. All right, we're going to focus on three economic concepts, arbitrage, inflation, and the law of 72. So first, arbitrage. It works like this. We're going to borrow money from our home via a refinance or a home equity line of credit. Say it. 5%. And we're going to purchase an income property where the income pays us 10%. That 5% difference in the middle there, you get to keep that. This is arbitrage. You're benefiting from this arbitrage of leveraging two loans. That's right, a mortgage, debt. Debt can be good when used correctly. Now, 5% is nothing to throw a parade over, but it's better than nothing but no one's getting rich off of 5%. And this was just an example of arbitrage, yet we wouldn't be done calculating our return either. Let's just focus for now on the arbitrage. I'll get to the rest in a minute. Second, inflation. It may be the bane of an economy's health, but you can use it to your advantage and get stinking rich. And here's one of two reasons how this works. As inflation eats away at the value of your debt, your mortgage, over time, inflation will increase the amount of rent that you collect from your property over time. 
thereby making the debt easier and easier to manage as time goes on. There's another part to this inflation that I'm going to get to shortly, but let's look at this third economic concept, the law of 72. So this is a simplified formula that calculates how long it's going to take for an investment to double in value based on its rate of return. So if your property's average annual appreciation was 6% and it was 24% last year, by the way, but we'll use 6%. Your property's value would double every 12 years. Considering our current inflationary environment as of the recording of this video, and the fact that historically, real estate appreciation outpaces inflation, this doubling is likely to happen faster and faster, but we'll just be conservative and keep it at 12 years. So for just getting that one house, these three economic factors will play out and put the average person in a much better place financially than if they didn't do this. The average homeowner at the age of retirement is 40 times wealthier than the average non-homeowner. But even with that said, a single house is not going to make you rich, but you don't need a ton of them either. Let's look at just 10 properties. And to keep the math simple, we'll use $100,000 properties. And not only for simplicity's sake, it's realistic too. Go get a free investor packet at cashflowsavvy.com and you'll see how realistic this example is. All right, we've got 10 properties at $100,000 each. That's a modest portfolio today of $1 million. We're gonna need 20% down, so that's $200,000 and maybe $25,000 in closing costs and another $25,000 in reserves and then a total loan of $800,000. But you need only $250,000 to make this happen. You know that home that uh, Dave Ramsey is telling you to pay down so fast? Pay off the house early. Stop that and just pull as much equity from that property that you can by either a home equity line of credit or a refinance. At today's interest rates of, I don't know, 4%-ish and this year's inflation rate at 7%-ish so far, does that look familiar by the way? That's right, it's arbitrage, isn't it? The economy right now is paying you to borrow money, about 3% at the time of this video's recording. Now, if you don't have enough equity in your home yet, you might want to liquidate that 401k after you see what I show you so you could make up the difference. And that's despite the taxes and penalties even. Now I already know, that's sure to ruffle some feathers, but don't get mad, it's just math, stay with me. Now these 10 properties, they're gonna pay you a monthly income of $250 per property. Times that by 10, that's $2,500 a month. And I understand that's likely not going to replace your income, but it'll certainly keep the lights on, it'll keep the tires rotated, and it'll keep the refrigerator stocked. Okay, so with our portfolio, let's stop there and do nothing else. Nothing else but just letting time do its thing. From here, you'll just manage the property managers that are managing your properties for the next 12 years. That's it. And at the end of year 12, we'll just check in on how the math played out. Per the law of 72, our $1 million portfolio is now worth $2 million. So far, so good. And we can now go back to the bank to refinance 75% of your portfolio's value. We'll pull out $1.5 million, leaving your portfolio with $500,000 of equity. We'll pay off the original loan of $800,000, and that will leave you with $700,000 of cash. You can now use that to support yourself over the next 12 year period, leaving you with $58,333 per year to live. Tax free, by the way. The IRS doesn't tax borrowed money. So tax adjusted, that's probably equivalent to an $80,000 a year salary. Oh, and thanks to inflation increasing your rents, your cash flow has bumped up to approximately $300 per property, times that by 10, giving you an extra $3,000 per month. That's $36,000 per year, giving you what's equivalent to an annual salary of about $116,000. Can you say early retirement? Yes, now that you're retired, do nothing else with your portfolio, but manage the property managers that are managing your properties for another 12 years. At the end of those 12 years, we'll do the math all over again. The portfolio has doubled again, valued now at $4 million. We'll refinance 75% again, leaving $1 million of equity in the portfolio and leaving you with $3 million of cash. 
You then pay off the one and a half million dollar mortgage and then you put one and a half million dollars of cash in your pocket. You're gonna need some big pockets. You can now use that to support yourself over the next 12 year period, giving you $125,000 a year of tax free money to live on. Tax adjusted to approximately, I don't know, $160,000 salary. And then we're likely up to $400 of cash flow per property times that by 10, giving you an extra $48,000 per year, totaling what would be equivalent to a salary that paid you, I don't know, $208,000 a year. Can you live on that? And could you do it all over again in 12 more years? You know, if you started when you were 20, you're only 44 years old at this point. If you started when you were 30, you're only 54 years old. If you started when you were 40, you're only 64 years old. If you started when you were 50, you're only 74 years old and you've got plenty of life ahead of you. You know, with modern medicine, we're all gonna be living until we're 100. Most people though, will ignore this math and pay off their home as fast as they can anyway. The reason why is they've got conflicting values, meaning they outwardly say that they want financial freedom, but internally they need financial security. It's how most humans are wired. And although freedom and security may sound similar, they are two entirely different strategies that people apply to attain them. One pans out, they win, and the other doesn't, they lose. And the problem with security is, you never really get to stop working, or not for a very long time. And these days, is any job really secure? The other problem with security is that most people just don't make enough to save enough, nor do they have enough time in the day or their lives to create the type of wealth and freedom that leveraging your home's mortgage can. People are giving it a go for sure, but 95% of them are losing. And don't get mad, they're just the stats. And here's another thing, this is some really compelling irony for the people that follow the security path and pay off their house as fast as they can. You see, they will typically need to pull that money out in retirement anyway, via a refinance or a reverse mortgage. Insane, right? And if that's the plan, why sock it away in your house in the first place? Don't pay off that mortgage. Keep borrowing against your house and you'll build your freedom far faster than you ever could by paying it off. And not just faster, with greater certainty of it actually happening. No one ever set themselves free by solely eliminating debt. Now, this takes a bit of education, but not much. So invest in yourself too. Like my financially free students, there's Brad, Enrique, Josh, Brendan, and Mackenzie, to name a few. You see at Epic Real Estate, we know that most people are living a life of financial sacrifice and betrayal. So we've built a system that creates an opportunity for one's money to work harder for them than they did for it, saving them and their families from a lifetime of financial worry. What did you find most valuable? Let me know below. And who else do you know that needs to see this? When their name comes to mind, please share it with them. Oh, and if you are already subscribed, I pulled this video out special for you to watch next. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.